It's the Kyle and Jackie O show this morning here at Kiss FM. A lot of buzz, Jackie, about the kid Leroy. Oh, hell See yeah. here. He's in the mall. He's being swamped by fans. He's at McDonald's serving out the window. He's giving money to charity. He's loving life. And he's here now. The kid Leroy, brother, Hi. are you doing all these things or are these fake spottings? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I've seen them. I'm, I'm not definitely fake. outside. I'm outside. You're yeah. in the mall with the missus and the people went crazy, right? Yeah. We, well, we, we went there to just get a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of shoes and stuff because I was, I was uh, the next day, then I went back to, the, to my neighborhood and I was just like passing out some shoes to the boys and stuff like that. Handing so, out shoes. Yeah, so we well we yeah, so we decided to go into Foot Locker and I was like I didn't really think like much of it to be honest. So yeah. we we just went in we just went in there and it was a little little uh, hectic. I know that yes. yeah, lots of anxiety. I've noticed that. <laughs> and it's is crazy, it like that? Roger. Is it is it particularly crazy in Australia or is it like that everywhere you go? It's it's definitely it's definitely I think way crazier in in, in Australia. In in America like well, you know, in Los Angeles like everybody like you have everybody there so it's yeah. kind of like everybody like you know like you could like anyone can kind of just walk walk down the street and everyone's like oh okay like yeah, this is yeah. just LA. another day and, in and la then, and then george clooney walks past you like a f- yeah george for clooney. sure but i think when you go to like places where they don't get a lot of like 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 you know other places in america where they don't get a lot of people it's like probably a little different but i i just kind of stay in la and just commute from home to the studio i'm not i try yeah. not to be outside a lot yeah no, you're I, an was, inside I was guy. looking yeah. at you exiting mcdonald's yesterday so this is your old stomping ground in waterloo um where you <laughs> used to go uh and when i saw you come out it was kind of crazy the amount of fans and they were all just going crazy for you guys um your girlfriend looked particularly freaked out to me <laughs> she looked like yeah. what the hell this is yeah, a bit mental she, yeah she's um she's you know she likes to stay really like kind of low-key Low too key. i mean she's yeah. just like me i mean i i definitely like it's definitely very like new to me i have I, it's it's funny like um i had you know i just started kind of getting used to just like accepting like what it is like people mm. used to come up to me and say oh are you the kid Leroy and I'd just be like no that's not me <laughs> you can't do that now well no you, well you can't and then and I didn't think anything of it I was just you know I would just get freaked out and just like get really nervous so it's I'd just be like no right it is a confronting thing yeah and then someone told me they're like yo you probably shouldn't say that because like it's like people might take it like you're being yeah. a bit mean so I just you know I just started uh I started just being yeah sure it's yeah. me you know even though I'm, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't do. You know, I I get very very nervous, and I I you know, yeah. but yeah, but I. What, I what was, is it that makes you nervous? Is it just you're not used to like mm. randoms coming up, knowing everything about? That is a bit weird, um, right? I think I think it's just more so like I I don't know. I kind of just I'm I don't really I don't maybe think that much of myself. <laughs> so Aww. so it's kind of like interesting seeing like. Are you, it's weird are you surprised people, yeah. that, like, you obviously love singing, you're a great artist, so there's no doubt about that, but are you surprised, like, holy shit, I, I made it, like, did it happen quicker than you ever expected? It definitely happened way, way quicker than I, than I um, expected, but, you know, I've always wanted to do this since I was, like, a little, little, little kid, and, I mean, um, yeah, so, I mean, it, it, I'm just, I don't know, man, I'm just grateful. I, I, I could never see myself doing anything else. Um, sure. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It never really crossed my mind that I wasn't going to do it because I was always just really like, I don't like, I don't, yeah, I couldn't do anything else. So <laughs> That <laughs> McDonald's that. meal that. That, that you have um, that's, yeah. you know, being sold. So based off what you used to order, especially I mm-hmm. heard frozen Cokes at Waterloo, that's where you uh-huh. used to go as a kid. So yeah. was it a really surreal moment yesterday when you're back at the place where you used to order a frozen Coke as a kid, but now you've got the whole meal named after you and you're being mobbed as you leave. Like, did that go through Uh, your mind when you were there? (laughs) Um, (laughs) It was definitely insanity. Like, I mean, I I walked in and it's it's crazy because a lot of the, the same workers that like, um, were in there like years there. ago. Really? They're still there, and they all remember me because, like, you know, like we used to come in, like all of us, and some of like the the younger kids and stuff, like you know, just like give them give them a bit of hell in there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, that, and it was just funny. Like it was a pretty cool full circle moment of like, I think maybe like you know, it was cool for me at least coming back and them just being like really 
proud and just really happy for me. Yeah. And that, and that, and that, yeah. that's what I was really happy for, you it know, like a proud thing really like, and, because I've been to that Waterloo before for my happy yeah. day. And then I got um, thrown off making the world's biggest cones. Cause I thought <laughs> who doesn't love a cone and yeah. the McDonald's, they go hand in hand, right? Yeah. But I was making these like 30 centimeter cones and yeah, I was thrown out of my happy day. Oh wow. Well, well never that's mind. Unfortunate. What do you do? What that's do you do? unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, yeah they were so. thinking of doing a meal for Kyle, but no, I think he stole his gig yeah, actually. Something they said, oh yeah, no, we, we might get back to you later and then I saw the kid Leroy's and I was like, oh, well, yeah, that's fair you, enough. No, like, no, yeah, no, that's, that's that not, not, not fair enough. You, is, oh, is it? It's fair no, enough. No, it no, is. You, Look you, at no, you. you. Look you at you. You deserve the meal before. Hey, man, you've been doing this a lot longer than me. Yeah, but still. Oh, I like, see you know, what you're like, saying. He looks you know like he's eating way more he's, McDonald's than you. That's no, what no, 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 not at all. Oh, my God, you're having a fat slur. No, 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 no. No, that's fine. Brother, I know what you're like. No, I don't. Now, what about the giving the money to the – the? What you gave $100,000 to some sort of a youth charity or something? What was that? It's, um, so it's it's the, the factory youth service, um, which is what do they do? That you went there. So basically, they, I mean, they are re- yeah, like it's a youth service. So they would keep keep all of us like out of trouble and you know do things like you come up after school and they cook your meals and take you on like excursions and just kind of like yeah, just ke- you know just keep you out of trouble and always doing you know lots of good stuff for the um, for the community and and I just you know I heard that they uh, that they were trying to close them down oh really um and i was just like no way in hell is that happening because yeah, i mean you know like that like that place changed my life and and helped me so much and helped me develop like as a person and kept me away from like a lot of you know like getting mixed up in in, in a lot of stuff and i think it continues to help loads and loads of kids every single day and That's i just funny. think it'd be That's such a shame to close them down so yeah i donated the money to you know keep them open and, and keep them very um, decent keep them of around. you a lot of people don't do that but you know, a lot it, of people I think mean, they that, take what they get and then they move on. I, I, I that really stuff's, that's, that. That, stuff's, that stuff is, is, is important, though. It's all about I, – I think it's all about helping the people that got you um, – you know that 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 helped you. You know now I'm in a position. You know I couldn't necessarily do it um, a year or two ago. Couldn't come back and do that. But now I'm in the position where I, I can I can help and do that. Mm-hmm. I always you know want to want to make sure that I can in like any way that I can. Especially You've got for, plenty of folding now. You yeah, can throw especially that shit around. especially because it's not they don't just help me. They help loads of kids. Everyone, everyone yeah. in Anyone the in the neighborhood. And it's just like that. Yeah, it it, it, it would just suck to see um to see that yeah but we need now, to talk ju- about the tour right sorry jackie yes. go on oh, oh i was gonna actually talk about the tattoo you gave to post malone which oh. i talked about this morning uh which says i need a shit or something i was wondering well, we all ha- shit right? we all yes shit. we all shit and we all need to shit at some point so it's accurate um but has he ever done a tattoo on you or would you let him do a tattoo on you he, uh, yeah, he gave me a tattoo on my, uh, on my thigh. On and your thigh? Yeah. That's and it, very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, was it in a thigh or was uh, it out of thigh? <laughs> no, I, I, I definitely picked the place. Uh, what, what is it? Just what, are, what do you well, put on there? It's, it's, a, it's a stick figure cowboy um, with clogs and a clogs? feather in the hat with these big muffin hands. Sorry, not mu- What am I saying? Like gloves. Like gloves. Like boxing big- mitt things, sort of. Mitts, yeah. Why mitts. did I say muffin? I don't know. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, mitts. Wait, like were, big you mitts. Happy? were you happy with the tattoo? Do you love it? Oh, I love I, I I cherish it, yeah. Oh, you do? And Post Malone is sort of using his body like... Um, Backstage at a concert venue where yes, everyone gets just to scribble sign here. And, yeah, and, like and a it's cast quite, it's, on a It's leg. quite the art piece, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's a he's a he's a he's a beautiful man. He yeah. is yes. a lovely man. Have you been doing that. a song with him? I heard that. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah we got maybe. some stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got some stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, let's hear it. Uh, <laughs> when are we going we to hear it? Yeah. I don't know. We we need his permission. Oh, uh, fair enough. We need oh. his permission. Okay, okay. Now the concert. You're here for the big shows, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The um, what's it called? The end of the world. The tour mm-hmm. it begins. Mm-hmm. Ticketech.com.au If you want tickets. They're mainly sold out, though. Right? I don't think there's. A ticket. I think. I think. I think they're both sold out. I don't think there's yeah. a ticket yeah. left. Yeah, I think they're all sold out. From from that, what they told me, at least maybe they lied. Yeah. 
Because when you go on tour, (laughs) do you always think about that? Do you think, oh, if it sells out, like, you know, because that would be my worry, but you obviously don't have to worry. Oh, oh, I get scared all the time of that stuff, you know. uh, Yeah, Yeah. that was my biggest fear, especially when they told me, you know, they came to me like months back with the the schedule for the um, arena tour, and they were like, yeah, so we're going to have you in these arenas in Australia, and I literally looked at them, I was like, are you sure? Like, you know, I don't think you could fill an arena? No. (laughs) Bro, do you read the paper or anything? Or are yeah. you just in Do you your know own? who I you know. are? I mean, you know, he's loved up. He's probably just kissing and making out. He probably doesn't even realize. I honestly do. I'm in my own world. world. I'm just in my own world. I'm just I just chill. I and you know, know what I like? I like that your mum is around. Yeah. And always. I actually like that because in this world, a lot of people get lied to, robbed, chewed mm-hmm. up, spat out, yeah. believing yeah. the wrong people. Yeah. Your mum is someone you can always rely on. Yeah. A lot mom. of people scoff at, oh, the mummager. But I think it's very important to have someone that you know is got your back. Well, it's like, yeah, it's like having a wall of um, protection, you know, because yeah. that's one person that I can always count on that is always, you know, um, looking out for me as a person and my best interests. And, like, yeah. obviously, you know, like, she's always, like, you know, over-supportive of, like, everything I'm doing. But at the Do end of the day... you get in trouble of her? Every, did she, like, listen to me? Like, uh, you get the, yeah. the mum still coming out? Yeah, of course. Like, we'll, we, we, you know, it's like family. We always have arguments of what I think's right and what I think's wrong sometimes. And then, uh, you know, like, honest, honestly, though, 90% of the time, I hate to admit, but she's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mums, right. mums always it's believe annoying. the mum, yeah, I feel. Yeah, yeah. 90% of the time, she's right, yeah. Well, bro, it, yeah. It's, it's great to have you back. It's um, amazing to see how well you've done and how humble you are. I think that that is a big part yeah. of your success. That oh, you, you know, you. a lot of these rock stars come around. There's a lot of them are cockheads, like mm-hmm. they're bouncing around. Mm-hmm. Usually at the beginning, and the ones that hang mm-hmm. around for a long time are very professional, very humble. Oh, well, thank you're you. You're here for yeah. a long. T- we just know you're here for. Thank you. That's this very is your sweet life you. forever. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we'll be uh, still interviewing you when you're 60. I'll probably be dead. Well, we'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, by, nah, by then, I'll be. Be, I'll, be, I'll be in the middle of, like, Mexico or something, like, just MIA. I think that's my plan, actually. I, I don't, I, like, in the next couple of years, I want to just, like, uh, buy a house in the middle of the world somewhere and then just, like, uh, go and go MIA and just, like, build a family or something. <laughs> Wow. This is very, yeah. very serious. You're full of surprises, aren't Isn't you? Isn't yeah. I love this bloke. Make the kill. Yeah. Boy. Go you on can't with the buy flow. Tickets, I love it. But you can go to ticketech.com.au and see what you could have done if you got in early enough to buy the tickets. I, I can't like, wait for yeah. the shows. To see a show, you must consider yourself lucky because like uh, Kid Leroy just said, he may disappear soon. That's so, right. <laughs> like, I, I can't wait for the show. Loving the music. Um, keep killing it. We, we couldn't you, be man. more thrilled for thank you. Thank you. And thank you for having me, man. I, I, I want to say too before we go, this yeah. is also a, a big deal for me because, you know, I mean, growing up in, in – you know, in Australia, you guys are the, you know, excuse my explicit, but the shit, you know, you guys are the shit. So thank you for uh, for having me on we here. We won't beep that out like the project. He said, <laughs> yeah, we are the not, shit, not no. we are shit. <laughs> yeah, no, you yeah, are yeah. the shit. So yeah, thank you, thank you, man, thank you for having me, we, man. We're thrilled to have you, man. And, and all the success in the future. Yeah, Thanks. Love it. The yeah, you're real sweet. Just, aren't you? If I wasn't fifty, I'd want to be like his best mate. But it'd be weird. Yeah. You'd be creeping yeah. around all the time. No, that's all right. We'll go. We'll go to the pub. Yeah, it'll be like here's that old c- hanging around the kid Leroy. Right. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah, oh, nice to thanks, see you guys. Sonny. There's the kid Leroy this morning here at Kiss FM.